Renekton. Oh, okay. So obviously not the best case scenario for Gen X. I think that his champion pool isn't as wide as other top laners, which makes sense because he is a roll swap mid laner to top lane. And Renekton's not going to be terrible, but obviously is going to get hard out scaled by a Camille later on. So there is a bit of a timer for what Gen X can do on this champion and before the rest of his team needs to take over for him. On the other side, we finally get to see another AP Kog'Ma. So far, it's been Caps and Humanoid that have pulled out this champion in the LEC. Now, Nemesis is joining the, that Six. rank. Later on in the game, he is not really going to be able to get on top of a Kog'Ma, especially a Kog'Ma with Phase Rush. Of course, that's very different if he gets snowballed, if he gets very fed, but we'll have to see if that can happen. self -made going in, committing for the phrase trade. Zazi here as well. Big Haymaker going to take his health bar down, but won't amount to too much more as Nemesis Rocks the phase rush, gets a bit of poke, and waddles out. And um, we do actually need to keep kind of a pulse on things like that for both these teams, but especially Gen for Gen X potentially find himself in trouble. But of course, in the meantime, from the perspective of SK, Zazi being shadowed here by Trick. Nemesis, obviously, the phase rush for an escape, but maybe hoping to force a summoner out. Trick with the flash up and available has not been a man to hesitate when it comes to the phase breaker. Will miss the pullback, though, on a Nemesis, and now self made is coming. Zazi's going to be in trouble here. Trying to find the stun instead, turning to Trick. Getting pushed back into the tower, though. Self made's been here before. The instant flash out, looking just like the Kha'Zix game, but this. This time, self made a live. Oh no! <laughs> Flashing before their eyes again, a little bit too much of a force right there. Now, that said, they do trade self made's flash. I believe Nemesis. Oh no, he did flash early. So, two flash for two flashes. Now, the next uh, attempted gank here from either member, you expect the agency would be for the set and the Azir to punish that one. Self made. Calling down there, of course, a lot smaller health pool, but Camille on the roam down means the trick can't really afford to contest there, and as well as sustained fights, always going to feel pretty favorable for the Volibear. Yeah. Finally, the oh, what's the word I want to call it? It wasn't necessarily a bait, though self made was kind of waiting in the wings. It did feel like they were trying to uh, catch Zazie and Trick being really aggressive in that mid lane. And the good news for Nemesis and for Fnatic in general is that, oh, hold that thought. The hook is going to connect onto the Blitzcrank. He's going to get knocked back, pulled back, and knocked down. Limit running for the hills. Trying to put a space between himself and the enemy team. Not going to make it out there, but quite close in the end. That moment when you think that you're ganking mid lane and then you're ganked by three people. Yeah, good roam from Fnatic, good roam from Hillisang as well. Crown Shot, of course, sitting comfortable on the bottom side of the map. 40 -er, and is also just a much better champion at stacking it. So early Muramana Power Spike potentially could be a big benefit to SK. This is to be expected, however, SK having control over the initial first dragons. Again, um, the team Fnatic. just needs him to farm, just needs him to scale, get levels. Kogma roams are not what we talk about when we talk about Kogma. Azir, however, does have the potential to roam. He's going to get spotted out here, and you can see that now the Renekton has a few more points in his abilities. And Vamp Scepter. <laughs> it's and a Vamp Scepter. It's a bit easier for him to start to pressure in this lane. That said, Zazi on the way in. Whippo going to backstep here. Self made, going unstoppable. Fantastic use of the ultimate. His Reckless is going to provide a shield for the entire team. Nemesis TPing in. Starting to chase down Zazi, but the range on the ultimate not quite there. Really needs level 11 before SK have to be scared. But did get the teleport from Nemesis, so maybe there's an opportunity that SK can look that when they have the advantage or Zazi's TP. After this game, playoffs bracket revealed. Do you want to know who is playing who? Stick around. Flash in from Hillisang, looking for the setup. self now going to try to find him. That's the chilling smite. That's the hook. Gen X. Oh, no. Got to get taken out here. Whipple going to grab that one, but Trick now looking for the suplex dunking down. Pulling back, where's the face breaker gonna go? Just grabbing self made. Zazi's here, but he has to be careful. If the CC hits, he's gonna be in trouble. Whippo finds the stun. Hillisang now gonna fish for the hook in a moment here. Throws it out, will not connect. The minion there to body block, but Hillisang's still gonna grab the kill in the end. That's gonna be the trade kill back for SK. Trick now in trouble. The Haymaker <laughs> will not come through, but he still will make it out safe. And almost potentially a double kill for <laughs> Hilly before Trick decided to flash away to safety. Now, meanwhile, Crownshot has had all of this time with this tower. Thank you, observers. As uh, Reckless needs to back up because Blitzcrank is also on the way, or maybe Crownshot just gets the 1v1 oh. before. Before he even arrives. Sidesteps and Crownshot just do dodging out of tower Kill range. Kill the minions as fast right. as possible. Limit coming in. TP on the way down though. Classic Fnatic move here. TP bot comes in from Whippo. Waiting on the hookshot wall dog. Wants to force Crownshot to leap out. We'll still connect though. Crownshot goes down. Limit uses the ultimate ignite down on Reckless, but not nearly enough. Limit gonna have to try to walk this one out, but there's no hope here. Whippo on the chase. The flash now burn. Reckless. He has ult. Ooh, nice ward to try to set up the piercing light there, the piercing darkness rather. Hookshot wall dive, the flash to extend, pulled back under the tower, alt comes in, and that's gonna do it. Bubba gives him the teleport, gives him the flash, but doesn't give him the kill. Reckless was a big problem. Now, good news for SK, they do manage to get the Rift Herald, while all of this attention has been on the bottom side of the map. Though, as I say, that Fnatic are actually sprinting towards it, and Zazzy's about to get caught out. Oh. Maybe they don't get Herald. Good damage gonna come in, that's the fall. Get the kill the Nemesis, and now they have to be scared. Nemesis starting to scale up. Oh no! One self-made walking in, but who actually got it? it? Looks like Trick will grab the Herald there. 
Now on the retreat here, Nemesis slowly but surely going to walk him down. Haymaker going to come out. No, not available, and Nemesis will find the kill. Oh, meanwhile, on the bot lane, crown shot, no. The one man who's been having a good time here in lane. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Boop, boop, stun. Ooh, snare will not connect, though. Crown shot running for the hills. Boots, too, going to feel really good right now, but not nearly good enough. Whippo on a killing spree. Frost, you said he was scary before. He's even scarier now. I mean, everything has just kind of exploded across the map there. Like, it doesn't get better from here. No, most certainly not. And thank you, Observers, for highlighting the individual gold, despite Crown Shot doing very well in CS. Gold still in favor. Nemesis is going to flash out, though. He's going to be the one in trouble. Cutlass proc, but here comes the power of the Nimbus Cloak. Not nearly enough power, though. Has limits there to make sure that he does go down. Shut down, going over to Azir as well. So he's got to feel good about that one. Yeah, uh, well done there for SK to collapse on Nemesis. And also, Nemesis very overextended. Everyone else was basically into the base. There's no reason for him to be that aggressive. You really should just wait for Hilly to walk up behind you and help protect you with the descent or uh, the Dark Passage. But now that Nemesis has died, he potentially gives away this Drake for his team, unless Self Made can use the Blast Cone and get the Snipe. Uh, potentially. Most certainly will at this point. Trick does secure with the smite. And meanwhile, on the top lane, Whippo gonna grab a second plate here. Crouch out using that ultimate just to clear the <laughs> Does your champion want a wall to exist? Why and That's the big question you gotta ask yourself. Whip okay, Whippo. There was never going to be a wall. There. Trying to hook shot the Renekton. Not watched enough attack on Titan for that one. Gen X will still go down. Whippo now on a rampage. And uh, oh man, shell shocked. Which, if you don't know, fun fact, is a good one. Uh, so as you can tell from the cast, things have gone definitely very sideways uh, for SK fans here. And now you can see that they're trying to force some plays. Maybe Limit gets one. Good damage going down, but sadly not nearly enough as the Aftershock is there. And Limit now in trouble, running for the hills, but will drop. And Nemesis joining the party, but not a whole ton of threat coming in from the AP Cogma at this point. Slowly but surely I mean, chipping say away that, at but... ground shot, but there's no real follow-up. I take it back. You're right. AP Cogma's disgusting. And there you go. Nemesis finds a kill. So here's the thing. Um, Limit got what he wanted, and then he decided that he didn't actually want that. I guess he's not a puppy on this one. The lizard? A little gecko. A little gecko. Selling co car insurance. <laughs> Reach out. We've got options. And then he's got State Farm. We can have Geico. I'm not opposed. <laughs> the Geico caught in the skin. Whippo, though. Getting bullied out by Gen X. Hookshot wall dive, though. We'll take him out to safety. Trinity no Force, set. Not quite enough. Keep your eye on the Ezreal alt, though. Where's it going to go? Not nearly close, though. Is Crown Shot going to get out over the wall? Limit two. Self made will not follow, but Whippo. The great escape. Wow. What? Wow. Turn away. Oh, oh no. no! All right, here's the deal. This is what y'all need to remember. This is still the LEC, which means, which means in any given game, you're getting one of two things. And that is top tier world class League of Legends or top tier clowning. And right now we're clowning. And Zazie, clowning. Can he kill Nemesis? Yes, he can. Moving forward. <laughs> Here we go. There you go, Gen X going in, another stun to follow up, play back, along with the face breaker. Time pretty well at the same time. Of course, Blitzcrank can take away the shield from the Senna, but won't need to. So Crown Shot now gets the kill, and I believe the shutdown on Whippo. That's a big shutdown. 500 more gold into the pocket of Crown Shot. He's got to be loving that. Yeah, we actually just spoon-fed oh, that in the area. Already got crab. At this point, SK are like, mm, almost said a curse word there. Didn't say it live on air. Nailed nope. it. <laughs> got him. Crown Shot could TP behind the Drake and go for a super sneaky play here. Can't imagine that he will, though. So SK just a bit behind on this one means that Fnatic will grab their first Drake of the game, denying SK a little bit longer if they want to focus on that soul. And now suddenly it's the blue buff being contested. Inner turret or maybe even kill top lane. Nope, they're running out of time. Tricks can grab someone. X flash. Nemesis. Now gonna be in trouble. Pulled back. Dumped back. Oh, Nemesis. Still so much health, but will drop in the end. Now running forward. Looking for a bit of true damage. They're gonna be in trouble. Hillisang's already in the midst of the entire team. Flank trick back. Now landing the hook to follow up. Limit gonna go down too. Zazi going for the scoop, but Reckless is having none of it. Genex now trying to come in off to the side. Reckless running for the hills. The Sand Soldier's gonna finish him off, but self made manages to take down Zazi. Genex on the chase. Blade of the Rune King proc. Self made gonna be in trouble. Calls down the storm. Hillisang will retreat. And meanwhile, Bupo pushing in on the bottom side. It was just a disaster. Everyone was fighting everyone. It looked like a bomb. Why were we there? I don't know. Why did, did Zazie and I have passive? I would have expected this year turret. I guess it's kind of a long animation to throw it up. I, I mean, the thing was, is that the minion wave, he had, he'd have to like really walk up onto it. But like, you know, Fnatic, why did you have to push up that far? I mean, 
Well, Trick, why do you have to stand in that brush? Haymaker is going to come out. Obviously, a massive shield. He's going to run out to safety. Reckless will not be able to finish the job there, but Limit can continue to step forward. Uh, level 13 now coming in for Nemesis on the way to level 16. Big power spike for the Cogma. Not quite level 16 cast in him, but quite strong for now. Yeah, um, Whippo has actually been denying a lot on that other side. He's been feeding waves in while there was all that chaos that was happening into the mid lane. So quietly trying to catch oh, up. Scooped. Invisible, can't be audited, but still, what soldiers are going to do it. And now Hillisang is running in and out and in again. And now the hook, and he will connect the hook, but there is no one in the area. But Hillisang did hit the hook. Double kill coming in. Oh boy, here we go. Trick going to dunk back down. All of SK collapsing. But really, it's Fnatic collapsing. As, I just, uh, what? What the hell? Frost, what are these games? We've had the weirdest day of games. Can I just... All I wanted was three really good games. We've, we we've been taking turns running it down. OG ran it down in game three. I ran it down in game four. I was really happy Fnatic to cast down in Rogue game five. potentially making worlds, but then Origin were just a broken... Forward. Once the hook cooldown is down, though, Fnatic can really step forward without much fear of response. Trix Flash is the big thing that they have to worry about. No vision into the brush, however, until that control ward was thrown down. SK will take it away, but now Fnatic know that all five members of SK are here and that they have priority access into the mid lane. They know SK has to come. All the way in. Hilly standing back for Dark Passage here. Crownshot going over the wall, turning. Still Trick in the middle of everyone, but he doesn't really have any fallen damage. Suplex back across. Big shield across the middle of the team, but Limit has not, has used his ultimate, so we'll mitigate most of that. Fnatic now going to step back, grabbing Gen X, losing no one in the process. Whippo incredibly low, but no real tools to snipe him out. But now you just play really slow and you wait for Reckless to just get everyone back up to where they're healthy. Since we're fighting over the blue buff. But comes in. Hillisang gonna ignite Trick. You like to see it. Well, the second Infernal now for Fnatic here as... Yeah. The teams clearly want to kill each other, but normally where you expect to be fighting, which I is... I want to keep my eyes on. You can see from the gold graph that, yes, he's trailing behind a few other members in this game, but he's about to hit level 16, and that's a big deal. <laughs> that turret following, not so big, but thank you for the highlight. As long as he's shadowed underneath by Selfmade and Hillisung, he can feel really confident to continue to abuse any of these matchups. Swords on the side of Fnatic. Executioner's calling. Thank you. Uh, Executioner's calling, so they don't really need any more. As now Zaz is going to be in trouble. He built himself a tower. Selfmade said, no, shut it down. Mm. And that's bad news, because that was the man who was supposed to carry for SK, folks. And he's dead. They, they absolutely murdered this. AP Cogma does a ton of on-hit damage, even when he doesn't have very much attack speed. Crown Shot going to throw the ulti across, but SK are just nowhere nearby. Yeah, there's... N Not even a little bit. Whippo's going to go try to solo kill Crown Shot in the meantime. It. Oh, Hextech all the main and limit. Just going to go for a big hook, Trick going to pull him back. Whippo buying space for the team that wasn't really contested anyway. He's having fun with that one. Yeah, that was a, a clearly a zoning one. So when we talk about running a hook uh, here on the bottom side jungle, it's so strange. We've, we've, the draft told us one story. The game has told us another. <laughs> At different moments, the oh, game is telling flash you. Hook, oh, fine, no, get him. Big punch onto Hillisang. Limit waiting on the hook, though. Has not used it quite yet. Trying to find Reckless, potentially trying to zone him out of the fight with the threat of the hook. They pull back Selfmade, maybe they can get one more, but now Nemesis is coming to the fight. Look at that damage, it's disgusting. Zazie though with the throwback. Nemesis now going to be in trouble. Zazie now wants to turn on to Reckless. Big DPS, but not enough to finish the job. Oh, Zazie with the hero play. Does manage to find Nemesis, also burns his flash. Very critical because it makes it that much easier the next time around. Yep. That's now multiple Barons taken off of Fnatic, and they don't get Ages to use in the game. AP Kogma, longer range. Senna with enough stacks, longer range. So very difficult for SK to play this one out comfortably. And yes, that's right, folks. This game, not the only thing that you're going to witness that's going to bring you so much joy today. Also, the playoffs bracket. Who will play who? Find out after this game. This ward being used as bait. Will Limit grab whoever's going to decide that they want to take the ward out? Nope. Nope. We're fighting for a potential setup for Soul here. Self-made coming in. Soul will go down. Trick's going to grab that one. Limit flashing forward, finding Reckless, but there's not really a lot of follow-up there. Trick now onto the backside, but Nemesis untouched. Keep your eyes on the Kogma. What can he do? Trying to shut down the team. They're grouping up. They're getting absolutely murdered here. There is nothing you can do against this AP Kogma. Self-made's going to finish one kill, but the Kogma just raining down hell from the back lines. And now the TP coming in as well. Fnatic could potentially just look to end it here. No creep wave to back them up, so they might have to wait a bit longer, but absolute domination in that fight. I think they've got a creep wave coming up behind them, so while it will slow down this tower, you also have so much health onto self-made that it's not going to harm at all. And now they've got a fresh creep wave ready to go. Ooh, 500 damage off of a classic old meme. 
Here we go. Fnatic pushing in for the win. Final game of the season. What a turnaround here in the final week for Fnatic. It already qualified to playoffs before hitting this one, but they're going to end the season 9-9. Tied with SK. Secured in playoffs. Limits have been tested. Limit will not go down, and Fnatic will end the game. And of course, it didn't mean, mean anything. Nothing has changed. Fnatic were already locked for playoffs, but we now did get a look at Nemesis's AP Kogma. We now are aware that Fnatic have this tool that they can bring into playoffs. So just one more thing to be afraid of. And that was kind of the big betting point, because when you reveal picks like this in a game where the stakes are low, Usually the message you're trying to send is, hey, enemy teams, ban this, or this is ban worthy, this is something we can play. Sometimes teams want to hide the pick, sometimes you want to show them to potentially give you uh, a bit of an edge in draft, maybe try to bait out a ban from the enemy.